Hi y'all folks, this is Max from uh, HighOnAndroid.com uh, So I've got the battle out between the um, the Nexus 7 tablet here, the latest Nexus tablet. Uh, let me show you the back and also the Kindle Fire here, uh, which was probably the best selling 7 inch tablet um, all through last year. Um, things are about to change since uh, the Nexus 7 is only $199 and uh, it also comes with a quad core um, versus I think this is um, dual core one gigahertz um, so much much faster tablets uh, first thing I notice you'll notice is the screen just screen is just awesome on the, uh, the new Nexus 7 here um, let me actually give you uh, let me load up a site real quick here and uh, uh, let's go to the browser and let's go open up Chrome and uh, yeah, whatever. let's open up Engadget real quick um, alright and uh, over here too and I'm actually running uh, CM9 on my Kindle Fire here It's not loading. Okay, let's do that. Hold on a second here, let me load it up. There we go. Um let's do something fun here. Let's actually go to go see uh what this looks like. Um I don't know if you can tell here. There we go. That's kind of what it looks like I've got magnet here um, there we go there we go so let's just focus on the mod book and that's what it looks like compared to um, the the Nexus 7 as you can see it's a lot a lot more clear let me show you the um, Kindle Fire here and of course that's benefiting from the um, 1280 by 800 pixels on the right versus uh, 1280 by is that 600 um, so in real life if you really if you really kind of look at it um, you can kind of tell that the, um, the Nexus 7 looks a lot more clear I think actually this screen is much more readable um, if you look at the sentence right here and you'll 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 know what I mean here there we go that's that's what it looks like on the Kindle Fire um, versus that one. Wow, see the difference? It's much more, much much more clear. Um, this is the full site. I haven't zoomed out at all. Um, yeah, that's that's just a full site. And uh, let's try a zooming test. Uh, let me pull out a little bit here. And uh, there we go. And of course, with it large, it looks pretty good. Um, but you're really gonna read it about this angle right here. Um, that versus over here. Um, let's put the screen about there. So definitely, there is a very good, very good display on this seven inch. I think it's actually a pretty good 12, 1280 by 800 on this one is just perfect. Um, let me give you the icons also here at the bottom uh, versus um, we don't have icons there you go there we go All right. <laughs> I'm almost done here it looks mo much more crisp um, and also the viewing angle you can I have both both tablets at um, full brightness right now it seems like the Kindle Fire picks up a whole lot more sun and I'll do it like this so you can actually kind of see that's not just a reflection whether I put it here over here you can see that the screen on the Nexus 7 um, has much more viewing angles this one Kindle Fire feels like there's like a fuzzy uh, lens on it like, which you know which I just want to point out but much much better uh, screen and also you can notice the dots on the Kindle Fire at an angle. 
Um, so very good viewing angles. Very nice. Now let's go look at the uh, multi-touch capability of the Nexus at, uh, Nexus 7. Sorry. Um, so it's very very fluid. Very very fluid. Um, switching apps is very easy. Uh, versus the Kindle Fire. Um, I mean, it's still a good tablet, just uh, compared to the new one. Not going to be as nice. Uh, pretty fluid here, too. Um, not too bad, actually. Well, it might be because I'm, I'm running a custom app. Um, but definitely, the quad-core, you're going to be able to play a lot of um, the high-end games. Um, and also the new games that are coming out that are optimized for quad-core processors. Now let me do a very light, I'm gonna just barely touch it and swipe, barely touch it. Um, the Nexus 7 does really well, I'm barely touching it, I'm barely touching it, right? And let me try that on the Kindle Fire, I think you actually have to press it a little bit harder, but we'll see. Um, let me try this. Well, actually it's not bad either. So in the multi-touch, um, it's not too bad with the Kindle Fire either, but you know, just just using it. I don't know if it's a pseudo um, a pill effect, but it's just kind of it. it um, it's very nice. It, it just feels faster, um, and also it's integrated and everything. Uh, but it should be all of this software upgrade should be coming to the Kindle Fire and all the other tablets. Um, this is just you know Google's way of kind of saying yeah we've got, finally got it, our stuff together and uh, this is what everybody else should use um, so I'm expect, expecting that um, they'll do pretty well with this and I'm sure they'll be uh, come out with larger sizes um, so far pretty good not too bad battery life is about the same as Amazon Kindle I would say um, one of the things I really like about the uh, Nexus 7 is the speakers it's very loud um, versus the Kindle Fire, it's it's not as loud. Uh, I, I liked it because one of the things I look for in an Android device is the um, the speakers, and these speakers are great. They're they're actually a little bit louder. Actually, they're much louder than my Galaxy S3, which has the loudest sound of all my smartphones. Um, so I, I like that. Uh, I wish maybe they would actually put stereo speakers on the top and the bottom so you can, when you're watching movies and uh, you know you can listen to it in full stereo um, with you know with with the uh, full stereo with the loud out sound and uh, that would be wonderful um, I don't know it's all the apps are now it's been upgraded like the YouTube app you just saw here it's a little bit different um, kind of makes it look like uh, one of those flip things so it's kind of cool and let me actually play one of my videos so I don't, pff, next uh, unboxing there you go and uh, let me just show you the the uh, here options it comes in HD so you're getting I think 720 uh, full 720p HD video um, with YouTube as with all ICS also like dislike um, and uh, I can turn the volume up for you real quick. That was uh, Joe Michael. So that's the video I uploaded yesterday. Comments. I still can't reply to people's comments. Like I want to be able to press on the comment itself and reply it. But I hope Google updates that. It's really annoying. I have to actually use the full uh, browser app to get back to people. Um, and also there's Google Music, the latest version. This is... Uh, looks looks pretty cool and you know you can hook it up to the next the new Nexus Q uh, cloud streaming ball um, I don't know this it's a pretty nice tablet I'm not sure honestly though I'm not sure if you know I mean it's, it's a very good deal I, I'm not sure if I need it personally I really like my Galaxy Note which has pretty much the exact same resolution as this one but way more portable Smaller screen and higher uh, dots per inch, so you get you get um, pretty good quality with the Galaxy Note. Uh, what I would like to see is you know Google make something like Galaxy Note maybe a little bit bigger. 
I would have to say I would still I would still be able to carry like a 5.5 inch. Um, versus this one, it's still gonna be you know stuck in my house. I'm not gonna carry this out there. It doesn't fit in my pocket. Um, so I, I I would still say the device of the year um, is the Galaxy Note because I love it because it's big enough and uh, the resolution is very high. I can watch movies. Um, of course, this has a Tegra 3. But it's still fast enough for me to do most of the things, and uh, one of the best things is that it's easy to type. I still feel like the the um, typing on a seven-inch screen is is actually too big. You know, I, we don't need it this big. Um, so I I would really want to see. Um, I don't know. I I guess I guess for a tablet, it's a good device, um, and. Uh, it's it's good like you know at night um, you don't want to hold your big 10 inch tablet this is very light um, so that would be good but my honest opinion is um, if you're gonna get a good phone just get a Galaxy Note it can do everything that this can um, and also once Jelly Bean comes out you'll be able to do everything on there um, you know and my Galaxy S3 is great too just I, I still prefer my Galaxy Note. The size is just perfect for typing, and also it's slightly bigger than Galaxy S3. So I have a, a car mount in my uh, in my car, and sometimes I'm watching movies and I just put it on my car holder and I can actually watch it and it looks great. Versus when, once you get to Galaxy S3, anything smaller than that, it just kind of um, it looks way too small. So you have to kind of hold it in front of you. Versus the Galaxy Note, it, it's just a very good um, dimensions. But um, <laughs> let's get back to uh, Kindle, um, not Kindle, Nexus 7 here. And uh, the back is, I like the back actually. This is some kind of like a um, mesh, it's like a plastic. It's plastic, but it's very soft. I like that feel, and also it doesn't pick up smudges. Um, of course, this one does on the screen as every tablet does. Um, you can always get a screen protector um, to get rid of the sm smudges. Um, pretty good. Anyway, it got kind of long there. Um, so that was just kind of a short um, comparison between the Kindle Fire um, versus the Nexus 7. And let me actually go over the uh, hardware buttons. On the bottom, both have USB. Um, also, uh, dock for not dock. There's the uh, 3.5 millimeter for your earbuds or your earphones, headphones, and also there's a power button for the Kindle Fire. There's actually no um, no volume buttons, uh, which you know I I think they should put the uh, volume button versus the Nexus 7. It does have a power and the volume button. I kind of like it because you want to be able to quickly not touch the movie you're watching, but just lower the volume or increase the volume um, so that makes it very handy and also this one does have a camera um, that's got to be a camera right <laughs> but there's no camera up up um, there's no camera app yet um, because this one's uh, beta I think with the software update you should be able to use it and also there's a microphone here and also a microphone on the side and a docking um, Google's probably going to make some kind of dock landscape dock like this and other accessory manufacturers uh, versus the Kindle it can it can't be docked um, in landscape mode and also the speakers on the Kindle Fire are up at the top here um, as you guys know and I think that's pretty much it um, for 199 definitely you know this is the be the new best seven inch tablet and plus with the Amazon Kindle one of the things is that um, Amazon kind of locked down the Amazon store so if you install a custom ROM you pretty much lose all your Amazon Prime movies and all this Amazon stuff which I wish they would open up so you, it's interchangeable so I can install a custom ROM still use my Amazon app store which is great for watching uh, Prime movies um, but no so that's kind of kind of actually hinders the Kindle Fire. You can only use it as an Amazon device or like a pure Gal um, pure CM9 device like I'm using it right now. Uh, versus the Galaxy Nexus 7, or is this a, just the Nexus 7? The Nexus 7 is great because um, everything is built into the uh, Google and also there's going to be a ton of custom ROMs 
rooting and all of that um, since it's a Google device. But it's a very good design. Um, that's one thing I like about it. I like how they did the white and black, especially this version. Um, and you've probably noticed I like to do that on my phones. I've got a black and white Galaxy S2. Um, you know, a black and white uh, Galaxy S3. And this one kind of complements. I kind of like the um, half colors. You know, instead of just going all white or all black, I think it's, you know, it, it's better this way. Anyway, that was just my thoughts on the uh, comparison, sort of, between the Kindle Fire and the Nexus 7. And uh, sorry, it's been a long couple of days, and I'm trying to get back to everyone and do my job and make videos. It's a little bit crazy, so bear with me. I'm, I'm just trying to get through the day, and uh, I'm kind of tired. I need to actually go to sleep. Anyway, that was um, it. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button for me here. Um, subscribe button up here if you have. Thanks a lot, and use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. Um, anyway, I'm, I gotta return this to Joel soon, and uh, see y'all later. I'm gonna go try to root it again.